when I say one of the most beautiful views in Australia. Hey guys, we've just started our great Queensland road trip going up the coast. We've just pulled onto the Bruce Highway leaving the Sunshine Coast, which is where we live. And our ultimate goal is going to be going up to Cape Tribulation, which is 1700 kilometers north of here and is the northernmost point of the east coast of Australia that we can reach without a four wheel drive. So we're going to be stopping at a few stops on the way, including Mackay, Townsville, Cairns, Port Douglas, and um, a few other places which we'll see as we go. So our first stop is going to be Gladstone, which is about 430 kilometers away. But we're going to take a bit of a detour and go through 1770 and Agnes Waters first, which I'll tell you more about as we get there. Got some road trivia now. Question number one What is a town in Australia that whales visit in Queensland? Alright, we've just had our first stop in Childers, which is a small town with a population of about 1500 people. And we've just stopped here for coffee, which was recommended to us by one of our mates, John, at a cafe called um, Insane Caffeine, just around here. Alright, let's give this a go. Alright guys, we're about 100 kilometers from the town of 1770. Now I promised earlier I'd tell you a bit more about it. 1770, firstly, interestingly, it has a population of about 70 people, so really not that big of a place. And 1770 is named 1770 because that's the first place that Captain Cook landed in Queensland in, of course, the year 1770. And for those who are wondering, Captain Cook, he was the British explorer who actually discovered Australia in that year. We're just starting the paper bark forest trail down in 1770, which is pretty cool. It is beautiful. It's a bit of an obstacle course through the forest, which is pretty unique. Never done this before, actually. And this plant is called a climbing maiden hair, which kind of just grows around these trees and can grow up to 30 meters long. We just finished the paper bark forest trail. I am feeling very relaxed and zen right now after this amazing walk that you can see how relaxing and quiet and tranquil it is here. And I think it's now time to head to 1770. Hey guys, we're just going to the Bustard Bay Lookout at the point of 1770. Supposedly one of the few areas of the um, east coast of Australia that you can watch the sunset over the water, which is pretty cool. Let's keep going. That was one of the most amazing sunsets I've ever seen and we got to enjoy it from our own private viewing platform. Check this out. We've just reached Gladstone, where we're going to be staying here for the night. Just going to grab some dinner, have a sleep, and hit the road again tomorrow, where we'll be off to Mackay. Hey, good morning, 
guys. We are off on day two of our road trip. We're just leaving Gladstone and heading to Mackay today. Mackay is about six and a half hour drive from here or about 550 kilometers. And Mackay is an old mining town that is also known as one of Australia's largest um, sugarcane farming uh, regions. So we'll be spending one night there and meeting up with some friends. I actually used to live in Mackay, lived there for a couple of years, about two years ago. So we're going to meet up with some friends, spend the night there, and then keep heading north tomorrow. And before heading to Mackay, we're going to go to another really special place that I used to visit. That's about 80 kilometers from Mackay. We're now on the stretch between Rockhampton and Mackay which is also known as one of the longest stretches on this coast that really does not have that much to do. So we got a new driver in and we're just going to put on an audiobook. We're going to listen to The Alchemist, which was recently recommended to us and go from there. See you guys in a bit. We've been on the road for about four hours, still between Rocky and Mackay, and as you can see, there's a whole lot of nothingness, really. Some trees and some fields. It is quite beautiful, though. So let's do some more roadside trivia. Next question, what is Queensland's flower emblem? So we just passed through the town of Serena, which is about 35 kilometers south of Mackay, but we just swung a left to head to that special place that we're going to that I mentioned earlier. So we're just on the way there and that's about another 100 kilometers from here. Speaking of Serena, that is also the name of my um, three-year-old niece, who, by the way, is the best singer that I know. After a long drive, we've almost reached that special place I've been mentioning since morning, and that's the Yungala um, National Park, which is up in the hills here, about 80 kilometers inland from Mackay. So we're first going to go to the um, Pioneer Valley Lookout, just on the other side of these hills. And then for the more exciting bit, we're going to go find a platypus or hopefully some, uh, I don't know, what's the plural of platypus, platypi? I don't know, do you know? Uh, I think it's platypod, but we'll find out. Alrighty, so we're going to go find some platypods, I guess. Let's go. We're just doing a little walk to the Pioneer Valley Lookout, which is also known as a sky window. wonder why it gets that name. <laughs> We're just heading down towards a creek to go find a platypus or some. Platypus. We're actually um, just looking for a platypus in this creek right down here. Um, for those of you who don't know what a platypus is, it's a very unique animal and it's actually only found in Australia and it is the only mammal that lays eggs and doesn't give birth to live young. Also, it looks like a combination of a duck, an otter and a beaver. Actually, interestingly, when the, the first platypus specimen was sent to the UK, um, one of the British scientists thought it was a hoax and this animal was just stitched together from different animal parts. Wow, interesting. And last fact, actually, um, because this animal exists in Australia, it also has to be venomous, which it is. Good morning, guys. So we just spent the night in Mackay, had a lovely dinner with some friends last night and we're gonna go meet some friends for breakfast this morning but we've got a half an hour to kill so I'm actually just gonna go do a quick little tour of Mackay for Lila, show her the old places I used to live and all the places we used to visit and then we'll meet some friends for Brecky and then head to the northern beaches from there. Hey guys, so this is um, Cape Hillsborough Beach, which is in Cape Hillsborough National Park. 
One of the most unique things about this beach is the fact that before sunrise every morning, kangaroos and wallabies make their way to this beach to feed on um, seaweed. We're hoping to make it down before sunrise this morning, but after a late, lot, late night last night, we have to have a bit of a sleep in. All right, guys, we've just started a bit of a hike to Twin Beach Lookout. It's supposedly just about two kilometers, so not too bad, but it's a bit of a bit of a climb. All right, let's keep going. Oh, what a relief. We've got some flat ground. Let's see if this was worth it. Lookout. It is extremely windy up here, so I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me, but down there in the ocean, there are tons of turtles swimming around. I don't know if you can see them with this camera, but they keep popping their heads up and down. That was an extremely beautiful walk with some spectacular views. We are now just heading back down towards Cape Hillsborough Beach. Um, we've seen some pretty cool wildlife, lots of turtles as you saw earlier, and we've seen quite a few really cool birds. Um, interestingly, this national park is actually home to 140 different species of birds, which is pretty crazy. All right, um, about another kilometer and we should be back down. So we're back on the road now, we're just heading to Townsville about another 317 kilometers from here. We're just pulling into Townsville. Now Townsville is actually North Queensland's largest city with a population actually of just about 119,000. So we're just gonna head to our friends um, Nick and Marina's place now and chill there for the night. Just got to Townsville where we just met up with Nick at Nando's. Hey, welcome to Townsville. I hope you like chicken. 